Hello everyone. Uh, today I will be showing you how to play games that have been uh, shared with you in Steam or games uh, from a shared library. Uh, or maybe you have a friend that uh, gave you his account to play a game on. Uh, but actually in this uh, situation uh, you can't play the same game at the same time. Uh, so there is uh, there is a workaround or there is a trick we can use uh, to to play the game even though uh, our friend is playing it at the same time. Uh, so just a heads up, uh, this trick actually, uh, it doesn't work on games that uh, have multiplayer features or games that, uh, I mean, uh, uh, need access to Steam's uh, servers. It will only work with single player games or offline games. So without any further ado, ado, ado English, okay. <laughs> so without any further ado, I mean, let's uh, get started. Uh, first, uh, you will search for a uh, firewall, okay. And uh, you, you need to choose the advanced security option. Then we go here to the tab on the left and click on outbound rules. Then choose a new rule. Then it is program. After that, uh, we will have to locate the the Steam uh, directory where we have the Steam exe. So in my situation, and uh, I I guess for the normal installation of uh, of Steam, it is in program files uh, 86. So after that, you locate your Steam's uh, directory. You select the Steam AXE, this one. You click Open, Next. Then by default, it, sh it should be block the connection, Next. And uh, keep this as uh, as it is, all of them, all of the, it should be ticked. Uh, next. Okay, this rule, I mean, the rule we are creating, you can give it a name. Uh, just make sure you choose a name I mean that you can easily remember because we will need this later. Okay, let's let's say it is this one, Timisha. I mean, who doesn't like Timisha? Uh, next, we we click uh, finish. So in my situation, I've already done this. So this is the rule, and in my situation, uh, Steam now doesn't. Uh, doesn't have access to the internet so it is like in offline in offline mode but it's uh, it's not using the offline mode feature on steam we are actually blocking steam from i mean accessing the internet so i mean this is the trick we will be using but uh, before the windows what you need to do let's say uh, i borrowed one of my friends accounts so this is actually not my account. I wanted to, let's say, I wanted to play Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, in this situation, you download the game, you try to launch the game for the first time. So when you are done uh, launching the game for the first time, uh, when you get to the main menu, just you can quit the game. You can apply the steps we, we, we have done. Uh, you create the rule and so on and when steam doesn't have access uh, at that moment you can start playing the game even if your friend is is on uh, his account or maybe your friend is uh, playing the same game so in this doing this trick uh, you will be able to play for example uh, i guess this all uh, this also works for shared libraries on steam <coughs> so let's say you have a friend who shared his library with you even if he's uh, playing the game you want to play, you can do this trick and both of you will be playing the same game. Just uh, as long as it is an offline game, not a multiplayer game. So let's go back to actually how you can enable and disable this rule. I mean, without going back to the, the firewall and uh, doing that m manually, we can just... Uh, you can uh, create a text document in this situation. I have it here. 
and you will copy this uh, line of uh, this line just copy this line you will have it uh, below in the description uh, so we copy uh, I mean these 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 words uh, and then first let's say you want to create a shortcut to I mean disable the rule we have created so uh, we will focus on one thing so this is the rule set rule this is the name so this is the name I have chosen for the rule I have created you can change it with the whatever name you have chosen for uh, your case so you change the name and then uh, this should say no go on file save us choose where you want to save it give it a name any name maybe let's say name it disable because uh, this shortcut it will disable the the rule we have created after that uh, dot b80 so the file extension should be b80 then here we can i mean choose all files then click save so in my case i already created the uh, two shortcuts one of them to disable the rule one of them to enable the rule so this is we said when it says no the rule will be disabled so all you have to do go back here change no with yes then save us and we will repeat the same steps let's say we give it enable as a name then b80 then save it wherever you like and after that, when you finish, let's close this. Uh, when you finish, all you have to do, let's say I'm done playing uh, on my friend's account and I want to, to switch to my account or maybe I want to, to allow Steam to uh, have access to the internet and maybe play multiplayer games, etc. All you have to do is go to disable. The, uh, the shortcut we create the, for uh, disabling the rule and click on run as administrator uh, just make sure it is as administrator uh, otherwise it won't work so when you do that uh, this will stop the rule and steam will have access to the internet and vice versa if you want to enable the rule go to enable run as administrator and this will uh, like uh, enable the rule so steam can't have access to your internet so that's it guys I hope this uh, video was helpful and uh, if it is please don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel I mean uh, like the video and even share it with your friends so that's it for today see you in the next one